Now let's be honest, is it really worth investing your money into this bag? Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new around here. My name is Eliza and thank you so much for joining me today for this video. As today we're going to be doing a review on one of the most iconic Chanel bags. So if you're into that, please keep on watching and let's get started. this video was highly requested by you so I decided as long as I got my new beautiful Chanel classic flap in white I will do a review and show you all the details of the bag because it's such a statement piece it's a very iconic piece and I wanted to have it in a white color for a very very long time so let's jump into the details of the bag. Now, as you can see, I have my beautiful Chanel classic flap in medium size in a sparkling white color. I was in hunt for this bag for a very, very long time. And here I am holding my precious, beautiful Chanel. It's amazing. It feels so, so good because it was almost impossible to find a white Caviar classic flap with a shiny gold hardware. Please notice that's not a champagne gold hardware. It's really um, very bright yellow gold hardware, as you can see. It's so beautiful. Now let's get into the tiny details and talk about pros and cons of this bag because I've already have my Chanel classic flap in black but I wanted to have it in white so as you can see there can be a lot of issues related to this particular bag. Now before moving to the pros let's talk about some downsides of this bag and as you can see and as you can reckon this bag is pure white which means you have to be extra conscious of what you're wearing, extra careful with this bag and your hands basically need to be like clean all the time because of the stains and um, some spots that can occur. Uh, I mean it's absolutely beautiful bag. It's very darling. It looks so iconic and stylish but because of the white color um, I think it can get dirty very quickly. That's why I ordered mine in a caviar leather because it's more sturdy, it's more durable. I guess when you have it in lambskin leather it will get dirty even quicker. I mentioned before because this bag has a beautiful white leather lining. You have to have a bag organizer for this one otherwise it will be soiled very quickly. Another downside that I faced with my classic Chanel flap in black is this part. This little knob does bad things to your bag, let's face it. Because when you're carrying this bag out and about and closing it like that, this thing, this part, will get scratched very easily. Plus, this part will get scratched very easily. And because of this is a white bag and you're touching the knob all the time, I assume this part will be quite dirty with time which i'm not sure i need to give it a go and check it out but apart from that what can get dirty very quickly is definitely the strap because you're carrying it on your shoulder or cross body or as a top handle definitely this part i assume will be quite dirty with time and very quickly so you either baby this bag, wear a gloves, or do something to prevent it from um, getting all these stains. Now probably the best idea would be before using this bag to cover it with a special leather protection spray which gives you additional time to adjust to this bag and realize whether you need to baby this bag or not. Now, apart from that, I don't see any other downsides about this bag. It's the most 
iconic and statement bag you're gonna have, have from Chanel. That's why most of the bag lovers prefer to have at least one in their collection. And I wanted to have one in white for so, so long, although I understand all the downsides. I understand that it's a very delicate piece and it's very dressy one. It's more like a summer bag in this particular white color. But I really, really like it and I don't regret putting my money into this bag because it's such a beautiful statement piece that you can have. Because this bag is so classy and versatile, I thought it would be a great idea to show you like three, even four ways of carrying and wearing this bag. Basically, you can wear it as a top handle as such, but it's gonna be rather a long top handle bag. Then you can wear it as a clutch. It's very beautiful, but again, you need to be conscious of your clean hands or dirty hands or rather gloves. Because when you're carrying it like this, it looks absolutely stunning. I love the way you can carry it like that. It adds more style. It uh, makes the whole look put together and very elegant. Then you can wear it as um, on your shoulder as such. It looks absolutely stunning as well. Last but not least, you can always carry it as a crossbody bag, which I think is the best because I'm such a huge crossbody bag wearer lover, sort of. And I think this bag is not an exception. It's beautiful, it's elegant, it looks so gorgeous during the spring summer season and even in winter if you wear something light, this bag just make the whole look put together and very, very beautiful. Now let's be honest, is it really worth it to invest so much money into Chanel Classic Flap? And my answer would be yes. Because since I bought my Chanel Classic Flap in black, I haven't regret doing that at all because it's such a versatile classic bag that literally goes with everything. And since I bought my black one, I wanted to have a white one as well because, well, you will get it when you have your first Chanel bag because this is such a darling piece, such an elegant, sophisticated statement piece and it's definitely be here for you in 10 years time, in 15 years time because it's such an iconic bag and having it in at least two different colors is already a thing because you can combine different outfits whether you're wearing black or white or beige this bag will go literally with everything, the same as the black one. And it's absolutely darling and iconic piece, as I mentioned before. So Chanel has so many beautiful bags to offer at the moment. But my opinion would be, if you are thinking of getting a Chanel bag, first get a classic flap one, because it's such an elegant piece. It lifts up the look. It makes your look very put together and very expensive. So this is definitely a piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe because it's such a beautiful bag. I mean, I have no complaints about this bag at all, but I would suggest you to buy it in a caviar leather just because it's more durable and more sturdy and all of that jazz. <laughs> now that was pretty much it for today's video. I really hope it was helpful enough. If you want to know more details about this bag, like a serial number or stuff like that, or how to get this bag, please contact me here in the comment section down below or via my Instagram account and I will be super happy to help you and share my tips and tricks on how to get this bag. Now, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you very, very soon on my next video. Bye, guys! <music>